Now we're mushrooming, and that is a big sep. It's not actually a sep, but it's one of its brethren. And it's huge. Oh, That's it's how huge, huge it is. <laughs> it's huge. And we'll take one of those little ones and leave the little, little one behind. There's one. And I think that is, I think I recognize that. That's something like a, I uh, can't remember now, but basically one that grows under firs, pine brocius. Very good. Oh, and we have more. And I was on a diet, but I'm going to eat these tonight. There's no calories in beautiful mushrooms, as everybody knows. So, we have a trove of these, which are hedgehog mushrooms. And they're called that because underneath here, it's like spines. And these are very tasty mushrooms indeed. So there they are. And in the basket they go. That's what I call massive boomage. Look at those seps. I think they're probably seps, as opposed to one of their brethren. Fantastic. So here we have some saffron milk caps, if I can find them, there they are. And they don't look like much, but it's the green tinge that gives them away. And what absolutely marks them out is they have a juice, which is bright orange, saffron in color. So you see, there's a little green tinge there, but what gives it away is this saffron color. It's sap, it's called a milk cap because it's got milk and it's saffron, saffron milk cap. And this is called delicious. That's actually in the Latin name, delicious. Lactitus delicious, or something very similar to that. So this is a much more mature version. You can see that green, funny green tinge, and the orange, and you think, oh, I'm not gonna eat that in a million years. Who would eat a green and orange mushroom? But this is one of the most tasty, delicious mushrooms there are on the planet, the saffron milk cap. And that's a mature one. The one you just saw earlier was a younger one. Oh yes, it's bringing up the Bilbo Baggins in me. So this is a simple and amazingly delicious recipe for saffron milk caps. Now you've seen them earlier, how to identify them and where they were found. So this is how you cook them. And they are delicious. And it's in the name because it's Lactarius Delicious or something very similar. You can look it up on Wikipedia. What you need is a cup of cloves of garlic, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. That's it. Doesn't sound enough, does it? But as you will see, it's more than enough. So this is the sort of amount of butter you're gonna need. And you're gonna need a couple of cloves of garlic like this. So let's get the cloves of garlic ready. Don't have to do anything clever with the garlic. I'm gonna chop it in half, but you can put it in whole. That goes in the pan. And this goes in the pan. A big lump of butter. So melt your butter. And then chop your milk caps into slices. Now the idea is to sweat them.
these mushrooms have been washed and mushrooms do get lots of bugs in them so some people just like to brush their mushrooms and I must say I'm tempted to just brush them but these mushrooms really do need to be washed because they've got all sorts of crazy creatures in them so I'm going to go on chopping these mushrooms and filling the pan now the thing about mushrooms is it looks like you've got a lot until you start cooking them and they vanish and you end up with not two big bowls but a couple of plates worth I've set that onto a low heat and get it sweating in that butter so I'm going to keep cutting these up putting them in and sweating them away and what they will do is generate a really really delicious gravy you wouldn't believe that it doesn't have any meat in it because it tastes like beef gravy it's amazing so it's starting to cook away so this is on the lowest setting of the gas I'm cutting them because these are going to be nice, fat, meaty pieces, like chunks of meat. And of course, totally vegetarian. Well, if you don't count the butter, but I'm sure it would work just as well with olive oil. Oh, it's starting to smell great. So the last pieces go in the pot. So now, we're just going to stir just gently just to mix them up now you can already see that broth I was talking about starting to form and that's the most amazingly delicious soup I mean, it's going to be lots and lots of it and it will taste like a really complicated dish with lots of ingredients and all it is is butter and saffron mill caps and a little bit of salt and pepper at the end as such it's quite an amazing recipe or you might say it's amazing mushrooms so there's that soup so now that soup is forming the mushrooms are sweating and we're getting this amazing saffron milk cap soup which is just butter and whatever sorts in the butter and the juice of the milk cap and it's, it tastes like a really really brilliant really really clever soup but the only ingredient is a bit of butter and the saffron milk cap This is meant to feed four, but I think you can feed about eight. But with me around, maybe only two. But the thing is, apart from the butter, there's hardly any calories in this. I mean, mushrooms have incredibly low calories. So you saw that butter, divide that by four, that's probably, I don't know, 60 calories, 80 calories max. Mushrooms, another 80 calories. So I'm gonna basically put a teaspoon of salt in, a few pinches, that much salt. Now, of course, this will make a ton more liquid come out. And we're gonna add some pepper. So we're gonna put about half of that in here. So about that much pepper. So this is where we've got to. Lots of gravy. Lots and lots of gravy. And it's smelling amazing. It's smelling sort of actually orangey, but in the kind of meaty way. Duck orange. I don't know if you've ever had duck or orange, but duck is a very sort of fat, succulent meat, and the orange plays well against it because it's sort of citrusy and cuts through the fat a bit, but the flavour is kind of similar. Now, I'm just going to let this stew away for a bit, and it's going to be ready. It can't be far from being ready right now, because these are actually quite crispy. You think of mushrooms as being soft and squidgy when they're cooked, but these are actually crunchy, which is really rather delicious. So I'm going to be cooking these for another five minutes. So overall, that's about 15 minutes. But I think it's pretty easy to tell when they're ready because you can just take a little piece out and taste it. So that is all there is to it. Most difficult part is getting the saffron milk caps. So to recap what I've done, I've chopped them up. I've put them in a pot with some butter. I've sweated them until they've made a juice. I've cooked them for 10, 12 minutes. I put a teaspoon of salt in there some pepper I've just kept stirring them and you get this beautiful beautiful gravy and the saffron milk cups are cooked 
and you can just eat them. Nothing more to it than that. So now we're coming to the end of the process. You can see how much liquid soup there is and how meaty this looks. And that is now ready.